What's going on guys, RealTouchGML here, back with another basic Java tutorial. And today we're going to be getting a little bit more advanced with our system.out.println. So if we went ahead and ran our program now, as you can see it just prints out hello world in our console. And we're going to make it print out another line underneath that. So all we would have to do is say system.out.println another line run it and as you can see now hello world another line so that's pretty cool now if you're wondering the order of this and why why it's like this is basically what we do when we hit this run button is this code gets compiled into computer code which is binary and it reads all of this from top to bottom so since this is the main method it's gonna read uh, the first line here compile it second line compile it so that's why it actually goes in that order uh, so that's just a little insight on that but <clears throat> so since it can only compile downwards we can't really go up well I'm gonna teach you how to go back up in the codes later on but that's basically um, how it compiles and all that stuff if you were curious and just letting you know so <clears throat> say we wanted these both on the same line how would we do that well, if we wanted hello world and then another line on the same one, but we wanted to print them out in two different statements, we would get rid of this ln right there. And if we played the game or our program, it says right here, hello world, another line. And then you could, you could space this out. And there we go. So now it looks better. So print and print line, the only difference is, is that it spaces it afterwards. So if we put print line uh, underneath the or on our another line statement it actually wouldn't affect the code output but it would affect what our next uh, system dot out dot print uh, statement would be so that would be below it so that that just uh, that just goes for whatever whatever is um, beneath it that'll make it go to the next line but say say we wanted there, there are shortcuts around this uh, so if we use backslash n actually that is the same thing as saying system.out.println. It actually removes or moves our next statement to the next line. So that's pretty cool. We can also use a backslash t. And what that will do is it will indent it. So that's just some cool stuff that we could do there. Uh, but that's that's just some more insight on system.out.println. And yeah. I uh, hope you liked it. Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. And next tutorial, we might be getting into some if statements, maybe some variables. We'll see how far we can get and see how you guys like this. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.